going to be doing a empties video and I am super excited. My friend Nikki on Twitter had asked me to do a empties video because I put out a tweet asking what you dolls wanted to see and she said I'd love to see an empties video. So I've been collecting some things so I can actually do a, a good video for you guys. So um, I have this Victoria's Secret bag with some products in it. I probably won't go through all of them today, so expect like a mini series of empties. Because I do film at least three times a week, um, I know this past week was a little crazy with the holiday and everything, I just decided to take a break on Monday and not film um, or post a video. So that I was just busy doing stuff with my friends and family. So I will be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So expect to see a empties video for at least, you'll see an empties video one day a week for the next couple weeks. So it's going to be a mini series and I'm kind of excited about it. So I hope you guys are excited as well. If you're excited about seeing some empty products, then hit that thumbs up button and let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually a laundry detergent. This is the Gain Island Fresh. I love this laundry detergent. It is my favorite scent out of all. I really do love this one. It's, oh, it smells so good. I just love it. I love Gain to begin with, but the Island Fresh is just quite nice. Um, as you guys know, I am terrible at describing scents, but I will do my best to give you a kind of like a description of what it smells like. Oh, well, personally, I think it kind of honestly smells like the original Gain, but it has that tropically scent to it. Again, I am terrible at describing scents. You guys know this. So I will look something up and put it on the screen because I don't know how to describe it. But I really do just think it smells like Gain, but like a little tropically, like tropical-ish. So will I be repurchasing the Gain Island Fresh? Yes, I will. The next time I need detergent, I'm going to get this scent. They didn't have it the last time, so I got a different Gain one. And it's nice, but I like this scent better. So next time I need detergent, I definitely will be getting this one. So another laundry thing, <laughs> it's the Purex Crystals Long Lasting Freshness. This is the natural formula. I'll use these on things like my bedding or hoodies. I love the fact when I wash my bedding and I use this, I like that when I climb into bed, I'm like, <sighs> it smells clean and it just smells good and that's relaxing to me. Will I be repurchasing the Purex Crystals? Yes, I love these, especially for my bedding. Most of all, when I wash my bedding, I love adding these. I'm currently out. <laughs> obviously. So um, next time I get to the dollar store because it's where I pick up my detergent and stuff like that from, I will be picking these up. So yeah. Now moving on to some hair products. I have the Suave Rosemary and Mint Shampoo and the Conditioner. Um, I love both of these. This is the which one is this? The Invigorating Clean, the Salon Proven line. This is the Suave Professionals. You know, when your hair gets a lot of buildup, sometimes you just need shampoo to help strip all that product out. And I think this does a really great job, not to mention it smells amazing. If you're into that mint smell, I mean, I love that sm scent. So I really do love this. And it's just like an earthy, minty smell. And it works really well and if you're looking for a good shampoo that will strip like build up out of your hair then I definitely recommend the Suave uh, Professionals and the Rosemary and Mint scent especially um, yeah I really like these so will I be repurchasing these yes I will I've already repurchased the shampoo 
and I accidentally bought the wrong conditioner and then when I bent back they didn't have the conditioner and I still just didn't go buy it <laughs> but I definitely will I love these and I'll continue to use it I have a pure silk rich and luxurious shave cream in sensitive skin therapy it works well it works it works nice I like it um Will I be repurchasing it? Maybe. I don't know. I honestly, most of the time, just kind of switch around between shave creams. But the one I have right now, I love so much. And it works so well. So, I don't know. But when, this is like a cheaper one. And so, sometimes I get it when I'm like, kind of on a budget. And it works nice. Don't love it. It's not like my holy grail shave cream, but I don't hate it either. It's alright. I may repurchase it. We'll see. I have the Aussie's Moist Shampoo. This is nice. I did like this. My hair was um, really crunchy and crispy for a while there, and I was using this a lot. The only thing is I did notice I was getting some build up. It just smells like the regular Aussie products. If you're familiar with that, then you know the scent. Um, it's nice. It made my hair soft and shiny and it smelled really nice, but I did notice some build up. So, will I repurchase this again? Possibly if my hair becomes crispy and my other shampoo doesn't work. I may try this again. I don't know. I just noticed some build up with it, so I don't know if it's really that worth it. I have a degree clinical protection motion, what is this, the motion sense, and the scent is Summer Strength. Um, I really like this. I was having some issues with like BO and my deodorants weren't cutting it. So I switched to this on recommendation from my sister, and I love it. So if you're having some onion issues with your pits, <laughs> try out a clinical strength one if the other ones don't seem to be working. Um, I guess like your body gets used to a deodorant, so you have to switch it out, but the regular strength just wasn't cutting it for me, so I had to switch to clinical strength. And I really do love the Degree one. It is pricey, but it's so worth it because I don't smell like a batch of onions. And, yeah. So will I be repurchasing this? Yes, I already have. And I'll continue to buy it until it doesn't work anymore. Knock on wood that that doesn't ever happen. But, yeah, I really do love the Degree one. And I have one makeup product in here. It's the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. This is the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm uh, with the 2% acetic acid. There is absolutely no more product in here. I used it until I couldn't get any more out. I loved this BB Cream. It's, I wouldn't say, it's a very sheer coverage, but it did work quite well. It helped an awful lot when I was having breakouts because of the 2% acetic acid. It works really well and um, I just really liked it. It was easy to blend and it did last fairly all day. I just really liked it. It's a really good drugstore BB cream and I highly recommend it. Will I be repurchasing it? Most likely. I'm currently using a different BB cream and trying to use up some other products. but. When I need to go out and repurchase one, I probably most likely will be repurchasing this. So that's all the empties I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed hearing about what I used up and what I thought about the products. Um, if you guys do empty videos, let me know because I always find that interesting to watch and just seeing what products people like and don't like. And you know if the product's empty, then you know they really gave it like a fair shot. So that's why I really do love empties videos. And yeah. So that is going to be it for me this video. Until my next one, stay beautiful and stay safe. Bye, dolls.